All right, welcome back. Uh, this tutorial is going to teach you how to use tweens. Tweens are animation interpretation, effectively. Um, what you do is you set a start point and an end point in your timeline. Uh, maybe a shape might be a circle. Um, and then if you make the end point a square, it'll automatically create the animation for you in the middle. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first one we're going to work with is a shape tween. So we're going to grab a shape. Shape tweens don't work well with text, so don't use text for shape tweens. But click the oval tool. Um, it's always a good idea to get rid of the stroke when making shape tweens. Um, go to any color I don't mind, draw a circle. Um, I'm gonna hold shift to make it a perfect circle. Uh, then using your selection tool, if you just click on it, I'm just gonna drag it to a corner and you'll notice the little lines pop up like that. There it is again. Um, and that shows you that it's in the top left corner. Okay, that's a good way to position things perfectly. All right, you'll notice down here in my timeline, I've got this colored in spot. What we're gonna do is move up here to Frame number 30. Effectively with um, tweening, the more frames you put in, the smoother the animation looks, uh, and the less, the more jerky it looks. So we're gonna go with 30. We're gonna hit F6 on our keyboard. F6 will create a keyframe in frame number 30. Uh, and what a keyframe is, is a duplicate of the original frame. And the reason why all this is filled in is because to get to frame 30, it needs to do something. And so Flash automatically just makes this first frame go for 29 frames. So it's all pretty much the same thing. And if I was to change this first frame right now like this, you'll notice that even in frame number 10, it's exactly the same because all these frames here are just a continuation of frame number one, uh, which is fine by me. Just press Control Z a few times until that little circle goes back to where it's meant to be. So you'll notice frame one and then frame 30 is a keyframe. And this is where we're gonna make some changes. So I'm gonna move this somewhere. I'm gonna move it down here, bottom right. And I'm also going to if you click away so that it's not selected um, and then move your cursor so it gets right to the edge, you'll notice your cursor turns into this little U shape. I'm gonna turn it into a little kidney bean looking thing. There we go. Um, so your timeline should look something like this if you go down here, just bloop bloop like that. Um, but now we're going to tween it. So if you were to click on the layer or if you're just trying to do a certain section, you can click and drag like that. Um, but most people find it easy to click the layer and then right click on your shape or on your timeline and say, create shape tween. And you'll notice that it's automatically created the animation for us. And it's just beautiful. Cool, you can do this with anything I could like, change this last color, I could make it red and it will automatically update itself. All right, so that's how you make a shape tween. Uh, motion tween is pretty similar. This is uh, what you use to uh, animate things that are symbols. So. Uh, when we make objects into entities, that becomes a symbol. So we're gonna make a new layer here if you use this little bottom left-hand button, new layer, uh, because you wanna put tweens on their own individual layers, otherwise it gets real messy. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a little box down here like this. Um, and we're actually gonna put an outline on this one. And we're gonna draw it just here. And you can see it's taken up its own layer here. And we're gonna even put some text inside it. And we're gonna write no, no, start, just in, just pretending this is a button of some kind. Um, and it's gonna be red, which means it's gonna clash. So highlight that, change its color. I'm just gonna make it black. And then move it to the middle. Uh, a good tip if you're trying to make your text be directly in the middle of your object is to go like this, dragging it out like so. So that sort of just fits within your shape and then hit paragraph, center. Um, and it should fit pretty much right in the middle. Alrighty, um, click away. Generally, if you wanna deselect in Flash, you click in the gray area or you can press escape um, and you'll notice we have our object. Now, if we wanna select everything, we draw a box around it like this and that'll choose everything. You can see I've got the stroke, I've got the fill and the text. Another way to do it is to double click and if you hold shift and then double click and click all the objects in there, you'll eventually get everything but drawing a box is probably the easiest way. Right click. And then say convert to symbol. Uh, converting to symbol uh, is where we combine all these objects together into one entity. So we're going to call this one um, start uh, MC because it's going to be a movie clip. Although technically we'd probably normally make this a button, but who cares? Uh, we're just going to go with movie clip for now and press OK. We can tell it's become a symbol because it has this little dot in the middle um, and it's got this little outline. And if we go to our library, we can see it's been put in here. And if we go to properties, we have the ability to name this thing now that we've made it a symbol. 
uh, but we'll use naming of instances later on. Cool, uh, so let's position this. So I'm gonna drag it, I don't know, bottom left until it fits perfectly. And I'm gonna make this object fly up the top right. Um, this kind of thing is usually good for putting a little bit of animation into navigation buttons. So just say I want my start button to fly onto my screen. So maybe I'll just move it out of the screen completely actually, just for the sake of this. Um, and now we right click on it and we say create motion tween. Now the way motion tweens work, wherever your current um, frame indicator is, this little bar that I'm moving down here, um, that is where um, you can move your object to and it'll animate it for you. So I'll show you what I mean. So just say we want it to move on to the stage part way at frame 15. We click it and move it to where we want it to be at frame 15. So maybe we want it here. And you'll notice it's done the animation there. It flies in just like that. And then we want it to finish its animation just here. Holding shift will allow it to move on like one plane, like horizontally or vertically. So there you go. So it comes in fast and then comes in a bit slower at the end there. So if we want to play this from the beginning to see how it works, hit enter on your keyboard. And there you go. So we've got a shape tween, we've got a motion tween. Cool, that's all. Uh, thanks for watching.